Hello friends. In this video we will learn about changes in our environment. Pollution affects the quality of life more than one can imagine. It works in mysterious ways, sometimes which cannot be seen by the naked eye. However, it is very much present in the environment. For instance, you might not be able to see the natural gases present in the air, but they are still there. Similarly, the pollutants which are messing up the air and increasing the levels of carbon dioxide is very dangerous for humans. Addition of any unwanted and harmful substance to the environment that changes its quality is pollution. There are different types of pollution. Air pollution Water pollution Soil pollution And noise pollution Let us learn in detail about all four types of pollution, their sources and effects. Addition of harmful and undesirable substances to air as a result of the activities of human beings is called air pollution. Smoke from vehicles Burning of garbage Deforestation Smoke from factories, are the main sources of the air pollution. Air pollution may result in following effects. Long-term health effects from air pollution include diseases such as lung cancer and asthma. Acid rain formation. Greenhouse effect. Global warming, we are getting a good response from our viewers. However, large number of viewers still not subscribed our channel. We request a small token of appreciation in form of subscription. This will motivate us to create more valuable content for our viewers. Hence we request to click on red button appearing below this video. The greenhouse effect is a natural process that warms the Earth's surface. Some of the gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, chlorofluorocarbon and water vapors do not allow the heat of the sun to escape back into space. This makes the earth warmer. These gases are called greenhouse gases and this effect is called the greenhouse effect. Due to burning of fossil fuels and destruction of forests the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been increasing. This results in the trapping of more heat, thus increasing the temperature of the earth. Methane gas is released by the grass-eating animals. It traps heat from the earth and makes it warmer. 35 to 75 percentage of the greenhouse effect is caused by water vapor. Ozone is found in stratosphere. It blocks the harmful rays of the sun. CFCs are chemicals widely used in refrigerators, air conditioners and in many other industrial processes. They too warm up the atmosphere and destroy the protective ozone layer. These heat-trapping gases are responsible for the increase in temperature of the earth. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere trap the heat of the sun and there is a rise in temperature on the earth. This is called global warming. The effects of climate change are visible melting of polar ice caps, rise in water levels of oceans and flooding of places near the sea. Air pollution can be prevented by the following ways. Fuels that produce less toxic gases should be used in vehicles. The gaseous waste should be filtered by the factories before releasing it into the air. Afforestation should be encouraged. Addition of harmful and undesirable substances to water as a result of the activities of human beings is called water pollution.
Sources of water pollution are industrial waste from factories, oil spills in the sea from ships or wells and domestic waste. Due to pollution, water becomes unsuitable for drinking. Plants and animals living in water bodies die. Fish living in polluted water get poison which ultimately affect the health of human beings. To prevent water pollution waste from homes should not be thrown into the water bodies. And waste water from factories and homes should be treated before draining into the water bodies. Addition of harmful and undesirable substances to land as a result of the activities of human beings is called land pollution. The sources of land pollution are dumping of garbage everywhere and excessive use of fertilizers and pesticides due to land pollution the quality and fertility of the soil get reduced it causes diseases in human beings and other animals to prevent land pollution we have to reduce the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides reduce and recycle solid waste and avoid the use of polyethylene bags The disturbing or excessive noise that disturbs our comfort levels or balance is called noise pollution. The sources of noise pollution are, unnecessary use of horns on the road, noise from factories, loudspeakers and vehicles, also noise from electric appliances. Noise pollution may result in headache and dizziness and sometimes continuous exposure to loud noise may result in deafness. To prevent noise pollution. Horns of vehicles must be used to the minimum. Loud speakers must not be played too loud. And electrical appliances must be maintained well. Hope you understand everything about changes in environment. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel.